Apple just randomly dropped 20 new titles to Apple Arcade. Let's have a look at each game. The first game on this list is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate. It's a new action RPG by the people who brought you Vainglory and Catalyst Black. In this new adventure, Splinter is missing and the brothers are under attack. Players must unravel the mysteries to discover the sinister hand behind the mayhem. Join Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello and Raphael on a co-op roguelike adventure, where their unique attacks combine with randomized power-ups. Search for clues and hints across New York City with help from familiar allies like April O'Neil, Metalhead, Casey Jones, and more. As you progress, the game will raise to meet you in terms of difficulty, enemies on screen, upgrades, and so on. It supports 4K on Apple TV and Mac 2, and has a drop-in co-op system. From the indie developers behind the quirky hit arcade title, What the Golf, comes their next comedic masterpiece, what the car? In this hilarious racing adventure, players take on the role of an unconventional race car with constantly changing features. Hilarious. Just like What the Golf, the game features wacky physics based gameplay, making each race a fun adventure. Cars can also cook, sing, play with friends, or just go fishing. As you can see, unlike the previous game, you have much more freedom here or things just to play around with. You can freely explore open areas and enjoy the new level creator too. This is a really cool mode. You can make your own levels and then publish them online for others to try. Cityscapes Sim Builder is a new sustainable take on the classic city building genre and created by veteran sim builders and some I believe worked on the OG sim cities. Players take on the role of a mayor and are tasked with building carefully thought out systems to protect the wealth and happiness of citizens. With a focus on sustainability, players must carefully balance citizens basic needs such as housing, jobs and utilities while considering the impact of industry and transportation on the environment. With stunning 3D architecture, Cityscape Sim Builder offers endless design possibilities and endless hours of fun. The biggest downside to this release is that there is no natural disaster system, but the devs are considering it for a future update. Please bring it, that's a very important part of, of the, this, these games. Developed in partnership with the co-creator of Words with Friends comes a new word game. Set out on a journey to the Isles of Tiles with classic Disney and Pixar characters and take on challenging crossword style games. Players will test their spelling skills with Mickey Mouse, Tiana, Stitch and others in a new adventure. You can play alone in the adventure mode play with friends in online versus mode, compete in daily challenges, and try to reach the top of the leaderboard. This game definitely is not for me. I'm not into word games, but some of you will definitely have a good time with this one if you're into this genre, because it's a, it looks pretty fleshed out for a, for a word game. Temple Run on Apple Arcade includes upgraded graphics. Not only this, with the Apple Arcade version, players can now try the game on iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple TV. Yes, Mac and Apple TV. Cool. It now supports higher resolutions, such as 4K on Mac and Apple TV, and landscape mode here too. That is so cool. Enjoy racing down trap-filled temple walls and along crumbling cliffs with upgraded graphics as of said if you're on apple tv you can use the apple siri remote or on any other platform you can now play with a controller to swerve jump and slide dodge deadly obstacles collect coins grab power-ups use ancient powers to cheat death and complete exclusive challenges 
to unlock new characters. Unlike the original game, this is a premium version too, with no in-app purchases for coins or ads. Destruction, deception, and fatherhood is the basic premise of Octodad, Dadliest Catch. In Octodad, players control the titular Octodad, a dapper octopus hidden as a human, as he goes about his life. This game is very well known for its challenging controls. You must attempt to master mundane tasks with Octodad's awkward boneless tentacles. It's a very amusing game with its slapstick humor that just goes on and on and on. If you want to make it even funnier, but also harder, the game has couch co-op. Connect up to four controllers to your device and each player controls a different part of the Octodad. It's so, so funny. Give it a go. Kingdom Two Crowns is a side-scrolling micro-strategy game. It delivers a minimalistic feel wrapped in a beautiful, modern pixel art aesthetic. Play the role of a monarch atop their steed and recruit loyal subjects, build kingdoms, and protect it from the greedy creatures looking to steal coins and the crown. The best part of this game is definitely how you can seek the assistance of a friend working together locally in classic split screen while sitting next to each other with separate controllers or on opposite sides of a device in the custom mobile feature of tabletop co-op. Embark on a magical vacation in this puzzle game featuring favorite Disney and Pixar characters. Players will match and pop bubbles, restore and design unique islands, and meet new friends along the way. Isn't that just sweet? Get ready to collect cute characters like Stitch, Elsa, and design their vacation islands in an eccentric Disney style. I don't like this game, but it does have pretty charming art, and it is... I believe it's got some good puzzle stuff in there. Disney fans can let their imaginations run wild by coloring their favorite Disney and Pixar characters. Using a variety of brushes, crayons, markers, and magic tools, players can customize their characters and create their own unique versions of classic Disney scenes. Once a character is decorated, it becomes a sticker that can be placed and played with in magical 3D sticker books. With each completed page, more characters and pages unlock for endless fun and creativity. Unlike the original free game, this one has no in-app purchases for bundles, packs, collections, playsets, tools, or monthly annual subscriptions. Enter the world of very little nightmares. This is a mobile prequel to the popular console game Little Nightmares that blends cute and creepy. Ooh. Help the girl in the yellow raincoat survive in a hostile house and find a way to get her out. As she awakens in an unknown mansion, help guide her through each room, navigate a vast maze filled with life-threatening traps, avoid enemies, and discover Ooh, intriguing puzzles to finally piece the secrets of this strange house. Pretty good game, actually. If you enjoyed Inside, this one is right up your alley. Get behind the wheel of this classic physics-based driving game, Hill Climb Racing. Players will face the challenges of many unique hill climbing environments while gaining bonuses from daring tricks to upgrade their car and reach even higher distances. Race uphill in a variety of vehicles including motocross bikes, monster trucks, tractors, quad bikes, tourist buses, race cars, ambulances, it's still going, fire trucks, snowmobiles, and much more. Unlike the original free version, on Apple Arcade, hill climb racing has no ads or in-app purchases for coins or to unlock vehicles or stages. Uh-oh, the city 
is suddenly under attack by creatures of monster corpse and it's up to you, the player, to become the hero who will take down the monsters and revive the city. In Punch, Punch, Kick, Punch, players can gather building materials in the scrapyard, replenish their strength in the restaurant, learn new materials in the dojo, and get new upgrades in the laboratory in their monster hunting quest. On Arcade, the game has no paid gems via in-app purchases or annoying ads. Limbo is an award-winning puzzle platformer and indie adventure, critically acclaimed for its captivating puzzle design and immersive sound and visuals. It's Playdead's original game before Inside. Similar to Inside, its dark, misty spaces and haunting narrative will stay with you long after completing the game. Trust me, if you haven't played it yet, you're missing out on a very unique and well-made indie adventure. I strongly suggest playing Limbo with the controller for a more console type experience. It definitely helps for the puzzle solving and escape sequences too. Iron Marines is a real-time strategy adventure set in a sci-fi setting. It was made by the studio behind the Kingdom Rush saga. Recruit and train powerful heroes in the galaxy and lead them into dangerous missions and utilize their powers and abilities to win battles. Adopt strategy by changing troops' roles even in the thick of combat, from ranger to sniper, and from flamethrowers to missile launchers. Countless enemies, adrenaline, tactics, and silly humor await you here. The original game, while it was paid, wasn't a premium experience. Whereas here on Arcade, all the heroes and special packs are not behind expensive paywalls, and there are no ads like in the original, which was stupid. Ugh. This dollhouse game allows players to create their own family life stories and engage in role-playing games. Players can enjoy various family amusements and activities, such as cooking in the kitchen or playing in the garden. The game offers over 100 customizable items, dress-up games, and unique adventures where players can choose their favorite character and make their own game rules. The original game, I believe, was very, very pay to win or something, so instead here you get the full version with over 260 characters, heaps of pets and more. I don't care because this game is not for me. I don't know how to play chess. Anyway, for chess lovers looking to take their game to the next level, look no further. Built by chess grandmasters and gaming experts, Chess Universe is playable both online and offline, where beginners and experts alike can develop their skills and rise up the leaderboard. On Arcade, expect no ads, paid gems, paid packs, and so on. It's all available through playtime, which is what it should always be. In Farming Simulator 20, experience the thrills and challenges of running a farm. Harvest an array of crops, from wheat and barley to cotton and sunflowers, and take care of cows, pigs, sheep, and horses. Sell products in a dynamic market, and invest earnings into additional machinery and farm expansion. With over 100 realistic vehicles and tools from leading brands like John Deere, Case IH, and Macy Ferguson, players can immerse themselves in the farming experience like never before, really, on mobile. That being said, while this game is great, don't get me wrong, I don't know why Apple didn't try to bring the upcoming Farming Simulator 23 mobile to Apple Arcade, as it's it, it's it's only a few weeks away, and that would have been awesome. But I guess this version is still pretty fun, and there's nothing like this on Arcade, so I'll give it some slack. In Snake IO, the objective is really simple. I'm sure you all know it by now. You start off as a small snake, and it must eat pellets or other snakes for mass to grow and become the biggest one on the board. 
survive as long as possible to beat the highest score. Act fast with the Mass Eject Booster to attack and defend against other snakes to get ahead. Snake IO can be played anywhere, online or offline, and offers live events with unique skins and real-time leaderboards to compete with other players. It's a weird game, but we must remember that the original free version is still very popular to this day, so some should be happy here. Time Looker is a minimalistic shooter by solo developer whose name I can't pronounce. The speed of time is controlled by the speed of the player's finger. Players control a character through a series of time-based levels where they must avoid obstacles and enemy fire while trying to defeat a variety of creatures. In many ways, it's kind of similar to Super Hot in terms of its gameplay and even graphical style and approach, but this is way more hyper casual. Unlike the original free version on Apple Arcade, you can enjoy no intrusive ads and there are no in-app purchases for characters or big coins. Everything is unlocked via playtime, which is good. I, I didn't have fun playing this one. I, I tried, but I'm really bad. Anyway, in this challenging platformer, and when I say challenging, oh my gosh. Players hike up an enormous mountain with nothing but a hammer while stuck in a pot. This physics-based game is designed to be tough and to make you really angry. You see, almost every fall and failure could result in you starting all over from the bottom again. If you are able to progress far enough, you will be able to listen to the annoying developer, Bennett Foddy, making philosophical observations about the problems at hand. It's lovely. It's hard to say if touchscreen controls make the game easier or harder. I'll leave that up to you. So, what do you think of these new Apple arcade games? Are you impressed or disappointed by the quality of these 20 games that have appeared out of nowhere? For me, don't get me wrong, okay, I'm happy Apple have released so many games here, but still, there isn't really much here that makes me overwhelmingly excited for what's on offer. Maybe what the car, that one looks pretty cool, and I like that Temple Run is playable on everything now. But honestly, we still need more, not AAA games, but like proper console or just more fleshed out games along with these casual mobile experiences. Anyway, leave a like if you found this video useful and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple Arcade related. My name's Chewie and thanks for watching.